hello guys in this video I'm going to uh, like uh, show you what this uh, sage mess uh, and uh, how we can install it in our like operating system I'll be using uh, Fedora 34 operating system it's the Linux distribution and uh, installation is pretty much the same in all uh, Linux distribution and if you use the process that I'm going to use most likely uh, it will be the same in Mac OS or Windows operating system okay so what is uh, this sage math so sage math as you can see here it's a free open source mathematics software and it's licensed under GPL okay so uh, you know it's free open sourced and you can use this sage math to do uh, complex computations like symbolic calculations and uh, lots of things it's like um, almost free version of uh, Mathematica or MATLAB there's an online version of sage math and uh, you know this uh, co-calc if you uh, like open it or you have an account here you can like execute a sage command online but uh, you know using online version may be uh, you know be troubling because it's sometimes slow if you are using free account so uh, if you can install it in your system if you go to help and tutorial you'll see installation code installation and there are different ways to install it so sage installation and here you'll see installation guide so linux uh, uh, pre-built binary is installed from conda forge that's what i'm going to use here why because this process uh, you know it's pretty much the same in all operating system and personally I use this conda for my research projects so it's convenient for me if it's all in one place okay so uh, to install conda you need uh, some working conda so uh, that means uh, mini conda or anaconda so if you search mini conda you'll see this uh, like link and if you go there you'll see we have Windows Mac OS and Linux uh, mini conda for latest uh, like software and if you use different Python version for example let's use uh, Python 3.8 mini conda Linux 64 bit installation package okay so let's you know I'm going to download it is uh, it may take some time so here I have the mini conda software uh, it is a script shell script so you just need to open the terminal uh, the Linux terminal of course or Windows command prompt and uh, run this script if you uh, let's take a look so this script is currently not executable so I'm going to make it executable using sudo change the mode of this uh, like executable to miniconda so type in the password and here you see the color is changed it's green now if, if you use ls la command then you'll see we have this x here x means executable so now we can run sudo dot slash miniconda uh, of course you have to have super user access to do this so if you run it you'll see some uh, like instructions you need to press enter to like allow the installation uh, I already have it installed in my system already so I'm not going to install it I'm going to cancel it control uh, C so uh, when your installation is complete just open up a new terminal in Fedora you can click this this uh, icon here so if you have anaconda or miniconda installed you want to check its information just type in this command and you'll see some you know this is the active environment why it is installed and everything and uh, if you say conda conda version then you'll see something like this if your conda command works then you are good to go okay uh, well what is the difference between anaconda and miniconda what is the difference between anaconda and miniconda anaconda is a bigger snake so you will have lots lots of pre-installed packages in, with it and with miniconda you don't have basic Python very basic software but you do have this conda command so now we're going to install this um, you know say 
you know just this command and so mamba it helps uh, as is said here it's a better package search software so conda install mamba okay so uh, and uh, we can create okay the kilo the kali So uh, we are going to install this Mamba here. So if you type uh, type in this command conda install Mamba, run it, then probably you'll see some kind of uh, error message. It may not show it here, but I'm seeing some error message. It's, it can't find Mamba. So let's go to this page. So here I have this command conda install minus c or dash c conda forge Mamba. That means I'm going to specify which channel to look for to install this Mamba software or Mamba package. So it should work now. Let's see. And as you can see, we have some channels here. Uh, the Conda Forge channel is not included here. That's why uh, you know we couldn't find that Mamba package beforehand. So if you uh, like add new channels or your preferred channels to conda then probably you don't need to use this minus c command so as you can see uh, uh, now you know we have some instruction here that will enable us to install mamba so let's press yes okay it will download the packages probably 17.9 or 18 megabytes okay then you'll have this mamba installed Okay, now it's installed. So now uh, this command is complete. So now we're going to create a new environment uh, to use Sage. So let's copy in th this command. So uh, here, so X should be uh, 3.8 suggested here. So 3.8, and uh, this is uh, you know Sage. Uh, no, mamba create dash n and for the name of the environment on this because in creating new environment so name should be sage env you can keep it sage but i'm uh, like making the sage env and we're going to install sage and python uh you know when creating this environment so let's click enter you know you have mamba installed so looking for uh you know sage and uh encounter problems while solving nothing provides requested sage so let's specify some channel so minus c and uh, as you can see you can use some uh, channels like predefined channels but i'm not going to install uh, that so minus c conda forge let's see now probably it will work uh, let's see okay we have some information here so if i press y then then i'm going to uh, install you know 640 megabytes total download so it will take some time but it will install everything as you can see this mamba is basically you know it's pretty fast it's downloading everything in, in parallel so uh, okay well conda is also pretty fast but it says here that mamba is a better uh, like uh, dependency solver you know mamba which is a faster dependency solver than conda
Okay, so our installation is complete. Now we can check, uh, you know, we can activate this environment using this command and deactivate it using this command. Okay, so conda env list. This will give us the installed environment. Okay, so I already had Sage installed. So name was just Sage. So that's why I renamed it to Sage env. So conda activate sage env uh, you'll see now here i have sage env install base so that's telling me that current environment is sage env now to run uh, the notebook or jupyter notebook where we'll run this sage environment type in this command jupyter notebook so this will open up a web page and if it doesn't for some reason you can just copy this link and paste it in your browser and you'll see here so we are in, a, we are in our download folder and we have miniconda already here we, we're not going to need it but let's create sage mass 9.4 file here so this is our sage mass file and let's do something using sage mass so say uh, we have this x equals 10 and we want to evaluate x squared so this command this wage symbol uh, x it is like for x squared in sage in python you probably use this double star okay so in sage you can use this uh, symbol for uh, squaring things so yeah sage in, is installed and fully functional now so how to run a cell say we write x equals 3 we want to uh, like run the cell then if you go to cell run cells then you will run all the cells and if you click this run run the selected cell if you run it or just say x and you can press shift enter it will run the cell and output is 3 and if you press uh, alt enter it will uh, or here is control enter enter now if you want to close the running uh, you know server notebook server then you need to press control c on the terminal and yes press enter now it will close 